please. All right. Um, well, first let me report to you on the City Council's recent actions. They've had two meetings since you last met. They met on October 2nd and on October 16th. On October 2nd, um, they created a, a Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee to oversee implementation of the Parks and Recreation Strategic Plan, among other things, and we'll be talking more about that in just a minute. On October 16th, the Council heard a, an informational report about AC Transit's hydrogen fueling station and the uh, fuel leak that they had on May 4th, uh, and, and AC's uh, Transit's efforts to investigate and uh, fix that problem and to reopen the station. The Council expressed no objections or serious concerns about the matter. Uh, the work involves replacing some valves and increasing the height of some of the vent stacks. Uh, and the building permit for that work uh, was issued just this afternoon. They, uh, the council heard a report about the existing trees at the Parkside Park area, which is being built in conjunction with the Parkside Apartment Project. You may have heard that there's some concern now about preserving some of those existing trees. After public testimony and lengthy deliberation, the council directed staff to look into the possibility of saving the nine trees that the applicant's arborist has identified as good candidates for preservation and moving them off-site for safekeeping and then replanting them as part of the new park design. Uh, the council directed that, they, that we look into storing them at the Golden Gate Lock and Key site on San Pablo Avenue in the interim, uh, which is owned by the city, of course. The public works director has been in conversation with the company that moved the trees for Pixar from their campus here over to the uh, Joseph Emery Park and then some of those were planted there and some of them were moved back and he's determined that that the work appears to be feasible and affordable so we're going to move ahead with that as directed by the council. Um, on Temescal Creek Park the council uh, decided to keep a number of eucalyptus trees in that park that had been slated for removal uh, because they overhang where the new uh, uh, where the planned play area is supposed to be and there's a fear that some of the branches could fall uh, on the play area. However, the trees are a habitat for two red-tailed hawks that apparently have been there for quite a while. And after hearing from a number of concerned citizens, the council directed staff to move forward with the park design and construction, uh, but to retain the eucalyptus trees and to prune them and to look into a system that apparently is used in Australia uh, of installing ropes or cables in the trees to try to hold up the branches and keep them from falling if they should break loose. So staff is going to be pruning those trees and looking into that uh, cabling system. And finally, the council decided to create a task force to look into the, current, the city's current ban on medical marijuana dispensaries and determine whether the ban should be lifted or modified. Membership on that task force will be determined at a future meeting date when the council uh, reviews all of their, all the city's committees. Um, the zoning update, as you know, is moving forward. We had a community workshop on September 29th, which several of you attended. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. And our meeting with, our joint meeting with the city council, as you know, is coming right up. It'll be next Tuesday, the 30th, starting at 6 p.m. here in this room. Um, the packets, your packets, were mailed yesterday, so hopefully you'll be getting them soon. They were, I also emailed them to all of you, so you can get a head start on reading the staff report and the voluminous uh, regulations. The final meeting of the steering committee is scheduled for Thursday, November 15th at 6 o'clock to review the entire code and to take into consideration the the comments from the community meeting and the council and commission's comments from the joint study session, make whatever final revisions they feel are appropriate and then recommend adoption and then disband, vote to disband. Uh, the planning commission adoption hearing is scheduled for your regular meeting on December 13th. That's your next regular meeting. And then the city council adoption hearing is scheduled for their regular meeting on January 15th. So we're almost done. Um, the Center of Community Life is alive and well again. Uh, I've just learned that there is a community workshop scheduled for Saturday, November 17th from 10 a.m. to noon, and that will be at the Ralph Hawley Middle School multipurpose room at 61st and Doyle Street. Again, that's Saturday, November 17th, 10 a.m. to noon, uh, and then that will be followed two days later by a special 
your special meeting on November 19th to have a study session on ECCL. That meeting will begin at 7 p.m. As you know, we normally start at 6.30, but there's another earlier meeting starting at 5.30, I understand, that may run a little over an hour, and we want to uh, make sure to avoid any conflicts with that other meeting. So we're going to be starting at 7 p.m. on Monday, November 19th for your special meeting for the ECCL study session. Um, you may have noticed in front of you I have put a book. It is the Guide to California Planning, hot off the press, literally. This was just published within the last couple of weeks. It's the latest edition of the seminal book on planning in California, Solano Press's Guide to California Planning by William Fulton and Phil Shigley. I figured this was a good use of the Planning Commission training budget, so I hope you appreciate it and, and find it useful and helpful, and I'd, I'd look forward to any feedback on it you may have as, as we all read it together. I was thinking we could form maybe a, a book club and have, like, <laughs> reviews. <laughs> Um, as the long as there's the not more than three of us there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the previous editions have been really comprehensive and really useful, so I imagine this one will also be. Good, good. Uh, that's all I have other than the things that are listed on the agenda under director's report. So uh, I'd be happy to respond to any questions you may have on anything I've reported on so Is far. Is there anything that's happening on the art.com special meeting? Um, nothing new that I know of since you scheduled it. I mean, as you know, you scheduled a special meeting on November 29th for an evidentiary hearing, and that's still scheduled. But has the expert been hired or? Um, you know, I'm not sure what the exact status of that is. The city attorney is handling that. Oh. Okay. So I can't really tell you that. Any other questions? Okay, you have in your packets the proposed schedule for 2013. Um, of course, the meeting dates are, as they always are, the fourth Thursday of every month, except for November and December, when they are combined into a single meeting on the second Thursday of December. Um, we've checked the calendar. None of your meeting dates conflict with uh, city holidays or major religious observances. Uh, the other dates, um, the... Uh, staff report due dates and submittal deadlines and so forth have been adjusted as indicated if they conflict with any of those dates. So uh, I would be happy to hear a motion or consensus to adopt this calendar. I'd move to approve. Second. All right. Is that without objection? Looks good to me. Looks good. Okay. Thank you. And then finally, Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee. Um, this is a new committee that was formed uh, on October 2nd by the City Council. They will be making the official appointments, I believe, at their meeting on November. Oh, there's a typo in your um, staff report. It says November 2nd. It should say November 6th. The City Clerk has requested that I report to her on your uh, proposed representative by tomorrow. So if you would be so kind as to tell me who that is, I will report it to the city clerk. I'd like to nominate Gail, considering she was on the Strategic Park and Recs Committee before, and uh, it's right up your alley. <laughs> <laughs> it is something that I deal with in my day job as well. As well, so I would be happy to do that. Great. Yeah. Terrific. I, get a I, I second that. Okay. Great. It appears to be unanimous. Thank you. Yes. We're not going to have a contested election. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Nobody wants to arm wrestle for it. No? All right. <laughs> I think, I think <laughs> you got it. Congratulations. Congratulations, <laughs> Commissioner Donaldson. I will uh, let the city clerk know that you're the Thank recommended you. member from this planning commission. I'm not going to know what to do with myself with the zoning committee. <laughs> I know. we got to find so. something to keep you busy. <laughs> fill that Extra slot. <laughs> Great. All right. That's all I have. Thank you. I guess we'll move on to our study session of Pixar Warehouse. <laughs>